fucking, you know what? I want to go train my eggs. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I should make sure I'm just topped off with flint. Topped off, I said. Topped off, I said. 20 times 3, 60 rocks. Oh. Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff. It is day 279 and today I am digging turf. I have been digging turf for hours at this point. Do you want to see how much turf I'm looking to dig up? Let me show you this friggin' square. Look at this square. And before you ask, I will tell you, it is 37 by 37 tiles. I was looking for a spot on the map that would accommodate this. And believe me, it's it's not easy to find. Like, nothing around here was going to work. The hamlet was not... Where, where the hamlet used to be is not large enough for this build. It's going to be right here. And this is by far the most ambitious and largest scale build I've ever attempted. And it's going to be a city. It's going to be New Pork City. That's right, founded by Jazzy on day 279. Oh my god, it is going to take, it's going to take so long to build this thing, but I tell you, so let, let, let me, let me talk through it. With, with larger scale projects like this, I, I've been using an app which lets me make pixel art. And I found that really useful for figuring out layout for tiles. Uh, so I'm going to put what I came up with on the screen right now. You'll see it's kind of a, it's kind of a, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's rounded off a little bit. The green zones are going to be either cultivated turf or lawn turf. Haven't decided yet. You can see there's a little town square in the center. And... All the other gray spots are going to be for townhouses. That's right. It's just going to be a, this is just going to be residential. All of this is just residential pigs living in townhouses. Shops are going to be kept separate. And honestly, I think I would I would prefer to have shops a little bit closer to my base of operations. This is really just to give give these pigs a place a, a city to call their own. And then when at the end of the day. They can say, we built this city, and Jazzy gets demonetized in a heartbeat. But no, I am, I am, I am, I'm vigilant with this. I just, I, I, I'm coming to realize how, how massive the scale is. And, you know, when you think about, oh, 37 by 37 tiles, that's not very big. But then you consider the resources that this thing is going to require, it's, it's, Absurd. I don't think there exists enough stone road turf in the world to accommodate this build. So we're going to have to craft a lot of our own and... You thought cobblestones were expensive. Get a load of stone road turf. I don't have it in my crafting inventory right now, but it is two boards and a cut stone per tile. And we're going to need well over 100 stone road turf for this build. But first things first, we got to take care of all of this turf. And I'm imagine... I'm... 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 I'm supposing it's going to take at least another hour just to clear out these tiles. Oh, but we have another we have another deadline. You see I have combined status turned on. That's cuz I was experimenting a little bit with, off camera with the length of seasons and years across the different DLCs trying to make sure that I will be okay when I world hop over to Shipwrecked. According to so if if all the DLCs follow the same timeline, all linked worlds follow the same timeline. Because a shipwrecked world is 73 days long, the next, uh, the next, what do you call it? Not calm, not temperate, but mild season. The next mild season should be on day 293. So I do want to head over to Shipwrecked at that point, because it will be a, a rare opportunity to peacefully explore the world. Assuming they're lined up, which honestly I'm not I'm not totally sure of after visiting Reign of Giants. It's weird because the first time we visited Reign of Giants, it was spring, which was as expected. It was like day 114, middle of spring. Totally expected. But the next time we went over, it was the dead of winter when it should have been, it should have been the middle of spring. So I'm, I'm nervous and I'm not totally sure how to, how to prepare for the contingency of dry season in Shipwrecked. I suppose I'll just, I'll have to bring a ton of niter with me. 
And yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do for wind protection because, yeah, I could go to Reign of Giants and craft a raincoat, or I could make, I could make an eyebrella. They probably have an eyeball for sale in the oddity store. Not totally sure yet. Anyways, we have a bramble bulb. So we can make a root trunk as soon as I drop off these turfs. I allow myself a few guilty pleasures, and one of those is the quick drop mod, which allows me to hold down shift and right click to drop turf at my feet, and it just makes it just makes managing managing these like stacks upon stacks of turf a little bit more manageable. So I just right click and it, it drops at my feet. Let me see. Got oh I got tons of rainforest turf. We could drop that here. Yep, all this rainforest turf, I would love to turn into cultivated turf eventually because I have no need for rainforest turf. Absolutely none. It spawns brambles, so it's a big it's a big no thank you. Let's see, that's it. Oh yeah, that's all the turf. That's far from all the turf. <laughs> we have so much more turf to dig up. But while we're back here, I want to make a nettle roll. It's probably probably a good idea. Should probably make make a few while we're here. Honestly, I could also just eat nettles raw because we've got a lot of nettles at this point. But whatever, as long as we're next to the crock pots. But the other thing I wanted to do while I was here. Oh yeah, let's check the oddity store. See if there's an eyeball. That would actually be a worthwhile investment if we can get an eyebrella happening. That would be, that would probably be, be a good thing. Let's see what we got. What do you got, sir? What do you got? You have an eyeball for me. Lovely. Ooh. And a mandrake. Ooh. Grab my coins. Gonna spend some cash at the oddities store. Let's see. Do I have anything to trade him? I thought I had, like, some, oh, eat. Ah, uh, you think I wasn't paying attention? I was, Jazzy is, Jazzy is vigilant with the nettles. Jazzy is vigilant with the nettles. Let's see. I've got a ton of uh, centipede oinks. Actually, yeah, for this we're going to need at least one centipede oink. Load, please. Thank you. Where are my centipedes? There they are. Let's grab one of those. And let's splurge at the oddities store. Woohoo! I bought. Oh, you restocked with another mandrake. I will take it. I will buy. Ma <gasps> Why are you doing this to me? Don't do this to me, dude. Do not. Do not, sir. That's not kind of you to take all of my money like that. Just pull it out of my hand. Oh, we can buy horns here. And once we travel to shipwreck, we can make football helmets. I mean, it's interesting, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> because, yeah, we have visors. No need. <gasps> you can't do this to me, sir. You cannot. Stop doing this to me, sir. I might have to hammer your desk so you can get around. Yeah, I gotta hammer your desk so you can get around that. Alright, I'm gonna hop over to Reign of Giants right quick and make this eyebrella. Hell yeah. Anything else I want to bring? Uh, I left my thermal stone over there, so hopefully it's not... Yeah, hopefully it's not summer. Oh, that is... Looks like summer. Seven days. Okay, I'm just gonna... I, I, I wanna I wanna check out the math on this real quick, because if we got seven days left of summer... Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do the math. I'll grab thermal stone while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, might as well grab both of them. Do the super cooling trick. Uh, I should probably deal with the hounds first and then do math. Okay, let's let's deal with the hounds first and then we do math. No, let's make the let's make the eyebrella first and then we deal with the hounds and then we do math. Okay, now let's deal with the hounds and then do math. Okay, so far so good. Oh, that's a lot of reds. That's a lot of reds! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna need more tooth traps. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I gotta... I gotta hold the backpack. Crap. Yep. Okay. No worries. No worries. Everything is fine. Please don't set anything on fire. What? What's setting on fire? Oh, my stocking stick. No! Oh, no. Not my... Not my alchemy engine. Good thing the... Good thing my Krampus sack can't burn. Oh, but the birdcage can. Please don't. Please don't hurt. Please don't hurt my birdcage. Well, I'm glad we. I'm glad we did the eyebrella first. Because, yeah, there goes our alchemy engine. Oopsies. Anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. Poor. Poor chest. 
Yeah, we should make more tooth traps. And we should set them up a little bit farther away from here. <laughs> Alright, give me that back. I I do have an alchemy engine pre-built. Just gonna have to make another one. Oopsies. Yeah, I'll stick it here. YOLO. Oh, I didn't bring my I didn't bring my eggs for trading. How silly was that? Alright, well, we got the eyebrella. You know what? I wanna go trade my eggs! I'm gonna go 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 get my eggs and trade. Let's go. Ooh. Will the eyebrow blow away? Doesn't look like it. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it in Robin for now, just in case it does blow away. I made a snakeskin sail just just to get me started in shipwreck when shipwreck comes around, which is not for another 30 days. Oh yeah, but I was gonna do math. Crap. Okay, I'll do math when I go back. Cause I wanted to see if the if this like how the seasons are lined up at this point, because that that might affect the timing of uh, of going to shipwreck. And I'm probably thinking way too hard about this. Oh, and we can we can make another alchemy engine while we're back here. Man, we have almost three chests full of boards, and it's not nearly going to be enough. Not in the slightest. Not looking forward to that. All right, so we gotta. Uh, I will. I will. I will make this meat into eggs. Oh yeah, we can. We can make some meat for sure. I've got like I got a ton of meatballs packed up in there, so I'm not really concerned. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn everything into meat, everything into eggs, bring it over, get the gold, do the math, and then probably get back to turfing. But I am really curious to see how the uh, how the season is aligned in Reign of Giants right now. Okay, let's see. It is day 280, and it is it is there's six days until the until the beginning of the new year, so day 287 will be the first day of autumn. No, I'm sorry, 286 will be the first day of autumn. That means, you know, it's kind of hard to do math while you're screaming at me, Pig King. I know you're excited. I know this is very exciting for you. You know, it's not too far off. Assuming the that the, the information on the wiki is correct, and according to, according to combined status, that is correct, where the Reign of Giants year is 70 days long. And if that's correct, if, if I had started in Reign of Giants and stayed in Reign of Giants, the new year would be starting on day 281 in one day instead of six days. So because, so what's, what's the difference there? There's like a, it's like a five day difference. So it's almost like if, if, if four years have gone by, that means each year was more like 71 days. I don't really get how it works. Uh, yeah, it's and I'm probably thinking thinking too hard about it. It's probably like it's probably just the way the game it, the game probably just messed up. That's that's my guess. It's my my inkling. Um, which means it's not it's not the end of the world if we if we hop over and it's kind of lined up the same way in shipwreck. I'm just, yeah, it, it would just suck that having to deal with five days of dry season before, ugh, before the, before the mild season. So maybe, maybe it'd be better to wait until like day two, 95? I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm done thinking about it. For now, we got to make some tooth traps. And we got enough for nine tooth traps. I brought some grass and some twigs. Let's do this. I think coming over here, coming over to Reign of Giants, as a in a linked world, is way more treacherous than coming over, or than than starting off in Reign of Giants because you get you got hounds and they they come in larger waves, but you don't have the tooth traps. That or you don't have the hound's teeth that you get from early waves, so like you're not able to make as large of a tooth trap field. So like, yeah, dealing with those hounds can be really tricky. Let's see, we got enough for two more tooth traps. Ooh, and and then we are out of we are out of something. All right, well, we will be fortified next time, hopefully. Let's head on back over. Oh yeah, gotta leave my gotta leave my therm. Although, maybe we should bring a therm. I'm gonna bring a therm. Just in case. 
Yeah, in case it's dry season, we might want to have it for cooling in uh, in shipwreck. You know, I just thought of something. If I brought, if I brought two thermal stones and a pre-built ice box and a hammer, what if I just traveled around with an ice box and cooled my thermal stones as needed, and then just hammered the ice box when I was done? And every time I did that, I would lose one gold. So I just bring a couple stacks of gold and I can keep rebuilding the ice box over and over again, right? Huh. Thinking about it. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do that if... If the volcano is erupting, but... Yeah, might be a... Oh, might, might give it a shot. And if it's, if it's, uh, if it's mild season, then, uh... Then that'll be a moot point. Okay, I'll stick the doodles, doodles, the doodles in here. I'll make make a few more while we're here, and then I'm gonna get back to uh, digging up that turf. So I will probably check back with you in like nine or ten days, because I'm guessing it's gonna take it's gonna take me a while longer to finish that up. So see you in a few. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Oh my goodness, you guys! It it took five more days, four or five more days. It felt like so much longer when you're only doing one thing over and over and just a beep, beep. Apt to drive a man insane. Uh, anyways, we got the turf all out of the way. Yes. No more pitchforks for now. And now I just have to drop off this turf. And then uh, we got to get to clearing out all the structures and crap. And overgrowth. So I think I'm going to do... I'm, I'm a, I got flint, so I'm just going to use flint tools for now. Save my gold for my shipwreck voyage. And, uh, yeah. I think at that point we'll probably be, we'll probably be ready to start. Actually, no, you know what? We got ten whole days left. So we can, uh, we can probably, we could probably get to at least, at least starting with the turfing process. I definitely don't have enough turf right now to complete it, but it'll be a, yeah, it, it'll be good to start, at least start that project. Okay, let's drop off this turf. Just out of curiosity, how much how much stone road turf do I have? Twelve stacks. That's actually not that's not too bad. I can I can go and set that down as long as you know as long as we're making a trip to the ham uh as long as we're making the trip back over there. Might as well bring the turf over and start to place it down. Now I just need to grab sticks because I'm gonna be making a lot of tools and I should grab I should make sure I'm just topped off with flint Topped off I said topped off I said all right that should be good Okay, let us begin let's begin turfing in the center I'm gonna want five so on on the center edge of, on each side I'm gonna want five so if it's 37 wide the middle middle tile would be 19 so two. 19. There's the center of the edge. So it'll be... It'll be five, just like that. And we do that for all four sides. All right. There's two stacks of stone road turf gone. <laughs> What? How, how, how many resources would that equal? Two stacks of stone road turf. That's 20 turf. That's 40 boards and 20 cut stone. We are going to need so much resources. Okay, well, let's just let's just continue with it. Uh, let's see, how much do I have left? Wait, we can start to build the road going in. So this is going to go in, let's see, 14. It's going to go in four, I think. Yeah, so 15 total. And that's actually going to, it's actually 16 to the middle you know what let's start let's start in the middle let's start in the middle with this so I'm gonna go I'm gonna count 16 in and then I'll start to build the, the town square in the center of this all 
Okay, so here's one corner of the town square. Let's see, and it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on a side. I think that's correct, but I, I am going to just count count back out to the edge every time I every time I do this, just to make just at least with the beginning parts of this, just to make sure that everything is placed correctly. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So now we can just fill in the edges. It's actually smaller than I expected it to be, but I think it's a it's a good and it's a good enough size. It's a good enough size. So now, from two, so on each side of the square, there will be two roads going out all the way to the edge, like that. And this is what's going to deplete our stone road turf completely. So I'm just going to put down as much as I can, and then, yeah, the rest will have to wait until we can, until we can make more turfs. Well, that's that. <laughs> Didn't put a dent in it. And that was that was about eight stacks of stone road turf. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. Well, let's see. We can at least put in some uh, some of this flat stone turf like around here. Yeah, this is going to be like three by four. We're, we're going to need a lot more flat stone turf, but I think there probably exists enough flat stone turf in the world to to take on this build i think i think well i'm thankful that the the turf takes less time to place than it does to dig up eat that simply delicious stale nettle roll and let's get to chopping so i think i'll chop everything down first and then i will dig everything that way i only have one hey 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 bastard that way I only have one tool in my inventory at any given time. I don't know how necessary this is, but I'm keeping a I'm keeping a little trap nearby just in case we get scorpion spawning like that. Oh. <laughs> that caught you rather quickly. Yeah, this is, uh, I think it's the quickest way of dealing with the scorpions if they do fall from the trees. These pogs are nice, but they can't be trusted. I love how they, I love how they, like, the trap catches the scorpion as it's leaping in mid, in mid attack. Sucks to be you, bro. Okay, that's it for the trees, I believe. I don't see any other trees in this zone. Yeah, so I think we're good on trees. Now we just need to dig up all these tufts and saplings and then we can get to hammering those walls okay we're getting there we're getting there you know just for kicks let's make let's make a stack of stone road turf just to say we did it and and we feel the we can feel the pain of this because boy will it hurt two stacks of boards and a stack of cut stone all for one measly stack of stone road turf right i get that Yikes. Uh, for one. One! One! You better be worth it, dude. Wait, what? Oh, that's actually... Is that even better? I'm not sure. Two cut stone and one board. What? Again? Arr. Nope. I'm going in, because I want... I, I, I do want the... I do want the pigskin. So I'll wait until the morning. Dang. Dang. Okay, so we don't need... We. I mean, we still need boards, just not as... We're going to need more cut stone to boards. Wow. 
Okay. So each stack, each stack of stone road turf is going to be two stacks of cut stone and a stack of boards. That's 40 logs and what's 20 times 3? 60 rocks. Oh, 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 my heart, my heart. Well, it's what it's, it's, what it's got to be. We got to have that stone road turf and we already started building it, so... Might as well finish it at this point. Okay, I'm gonna wait out, wait out here until the daytime. By the way, I'm not gonna demonstrate this, but I did notice that... Oh, it's temperate season, lovely. I did notice that raw foods that normally heal will now actually hurt Wagstaff. As in, butterfly wings, they used to just... They used to just hit you for, like... Well, instead of, instead of restoring three, uh, eight health, they only restored five because, yeah, raw foods normally hurt Wagstaff for three health. So it was like they subtract that penalty, but still give you a net benefit. But that is no more. Now, if you get hurt from, well, if, if you're Wagstaff and you eat raw food, you take three damage no matter how much it would normally heal you. So like aloe, butterfly wings, blue caps, all that raw... Huh. I did not plant you. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, not all that stuff now hurts for three health, no matter no matter how much it normally heals. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it's it's better that way. I think Wagstaff should not be able to benefit from. Wait, where are you? Oh no 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 no. Wagstaff should not be able to benefit from raw foods. Period. If that's part of his uh, character debuff, then yeah, there should you shouldn't be able to work around that. Okay, uh, we should. Oh yeah, we were gonna finish making that stone road turf. Let's do that. God damn, that is a lot of rocks. I'm so glad they added the ancient uh, the ancient Hulk to this game. Can you imagine how big of a pain it would be to acquire rocks in this DLC? If you couldn't fight the Agent Hulk over and over again? Okay. Now uh, we are good to... Yeah, get back over there and finish digging up the rest of those crops. Almost there. Almost there. I actually think, as much as I, as much as I cringe while crafting it, I actually think that Stone Road Turf is a balanced recipe. Considering how amazing of a turf it is, it seems, yeah, it seems like you shouldn't be able to just craft a ridiculous amount of it because it's, it's like, you know, it gives a speed boost like cobble, but it also has a high turf dominance. So it goes on top of basically any other turf. This means that you build where normally you would need two cobblestones next to each other to create a considerable pathway that you can walk across. You would normally need two wide cobblestones, but with Stone Road Turf, you only need one, and it creates plenty of space, plenty of width for creating an actual road. C cobblestones, uh, they have a lower turf, they have like a really low turf priority, probably one of the lowest in the game. And when you put them down, they get, they get covered up by surrounding turfs, including barren turf. So like even barren turf has a lower priority, uh, has a higher priority than cobblestones. So it just makes building roads with cobble kind of annoying because you just you need more of them next to each other. So you make up for that with stone road turf. It it requires more resources, but it's definitely it makes for a wider pathway. So I can't complain too much, but I even though I I will continue to complain. Okay, why are these guys planting on their own? I see they must. Hmm, that's interesting. There must be something in the code where if you if jungle burrs are left on the ground, they will automatically plant themselves after a time. That's what I'm guessing happens. It's kind of this a single player world regrowth mechanic. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye, goodbye, Stone Road Turf. Into the ground with ye. Hey guys, I think I just discovered a bug. Check this out. I just I just logged back in and. This sapling spawned, like, planted at my feet. Wait, what just happened? What just happened? Uh, did you see that? I just had... I said... 
That just fell out of my inventory and went in the ground. You saw that, right? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on with these burrs? They changed the mechanics of these burrs. Something something weird's going on with them. That I think they're they're trying to set it so that it trying to make it so that the burrs automatically replant themselves, but that's a little broken. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna reload. So I got ten burrs. You can see it. I'll just eat the nettles. I'm gonna re I'm gonna relog, and we're gonna see what happens. Nothing. It didn't happen again. So I wonder if it happens at certain times of the day or certain times of the season because it's like the first day of temperate season. Maybe, maybe burrs on the ground replant during that time automatically. I'm not totally sure. Anyways, don't have to worry about allergies anymore. Awesome. And now I gotta dig these guys up because. Yeah, they, I don't want them here. I don't want them here. Oh god, so close. Let's just dig everything up and be done with this place for now. That's it. That's it. Everything's been dug up. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's the that's the sapling that replanted itself for some bizarre reason. I love that you can rush these guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, well that was actually uh, that was actually useful because I need those rocks to make a hammer to knock down these stone walls. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, just drop these things on the ground for now. Okay, let's see, I believe they were stone, yeah, the stone walls were over here. All right. Well, this is nice to get a hold of some extra stones, some extra rocks, which will go straight into the ground in the form of stone road turf. Awesome. I think, I think I want to keep this pig house as is, see if I can in, incorporate it into the city. That'd be nice to have a pig house around, but hey, look at that. It's pretty, pretty much cleared out and ready to start, ready to start building on top of. So now we just have to bring all of this stuff back home and then I think it's it'll be it'll be time very soon in the next episode to head over to shipwreck and actually I as I've I've had a lot of time to think between the turfing and the and the smashing and the digging I think I know a way to guarantee I will start shipwrecked in mild season so I'm going to explore that in the next episode. Anyways, hope you are enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.